hello everybody welcome to my brand new video so in this video you are going to see why our google tag manager container doesn't track the click event okay so for example this is a landing page and here is a couple of button like add to cart visit official website buy now so that's mean uh, you're in your landing page multiple button could be on there but if we want to track that we need to get the click event on our google tag manager right so for example if i go on the preview mode and please keep in mind that you must need to google tag manager connected to your landing page or website whatever you want to track okay so let's connect with my landing page and here you can see uh it's now connected so that's mean google tag manager is working fine so if i click on the add to cart button you can see here is nothing so let's back to here click this button it's nothing so we need to see the click event on there so how can we appear the click event on our google tag manager preview mode okay so first of all we need to go on google tag manager container and go to variables and then go to configure and then click all the click events okay so it's now are visible in here and let's go to preview mode again see what happened so i am connecting again and click on this add to cart button here is nothing okay so and now let's go to make the trigger so we need to make a trigger so because it's a brand new so here is nothing so just i make a trigger with all the click all elements and then save it just keep the same name so now let's go to preview again so if i go on the free view and it's connected and hit the button and go back yes now here you can see the click event and if i show you the variables you can see the button click id button click classes button click text as well so are coming here so you can easily send that event like that button click to anywhere like for google ads google analytics your facebook or whatever ads media or network you are using so you can send it through this button click just make a trigger with this add to cart button okay so you can keep uh, you can get the click id or button text and make a trigger so for example how we can send this add to cart button click to our ad network like i just want to show you how you can make a trigger just open this add to cart and go to your tag manager container and edit that element and then some click click text contains or equal you can use continue will work and you need to change it add to cart button click click okay so now its trigger is ready so when you configure a tag you can use that trigger for sending data to facebook google analytics like here you can see a lot of templates are here so you can easily send it to you so that's actually the video how you can get the click event appear on your google analytics or google tag manager preview mode okay so that's all for today if you found this video was useful then you can definitely subscribe my channel because always i try to publish useful video so i hope you will love it and 
see you on the next video till then bye have a good day